if you're on the fence about playing Mistweaver in PvP and you played it low in Shadowlands and you liked it, you're going to absolutely love Dragonflight Mistweaver. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you an overview for Mistweaver Monk in Dragonflight. The new expansion drops tomorrow, so I figured I would end the Shadowlands expansions in Dragonflight Beta with a video on my thoughts for both PvP and PvE. I'll have timestamps below. I'll have a PvP section and PvE section. This video is just my thoughts about Mistweaver in Dragonflight. I have played extensively on the Dragonflight Beta and I'm actually surprised they there aren't that many people that still play it. I mean, I thought there would be some kind of open beta eventually, but they never did that. But yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. I want to start with some of my favorite talents that they brought back. First of all, they gave us our kickback. I am so happy they brought us our kickback because finally we, we're not just standing there doing nothing i love it uh they gave us diffuse magic dampen harm fort brew and healing elixirs oh they gave they gave it all to us they didn't say like here pick one they just said here you want defensives yeah here you go and they gave us all four which is amazing both for pvp and pve you could kind of tailor your talents based on what you're queuing into or what dungeon you're doing Personally, I've been kind of choosing between Diffuse Magic and Dampen Harm. I take Fort Brew almost every time, no matter what the content is. Same with Healing Elixirs, but with Diffuse Magic and Dampen Harm, you kind of free up one point, one talent point, uh, depending on what you're queuing into or a dungeon you're doing. So I, that's what I kind of like. Um, I kind of like the emphasis on Expel Harm. So, you know, if you know me, I love Expel Harm. I will press that button off cooldown. I think it's a great heal. And they gave us like three good solid talents for Expel Harm just to buff the healing. You could use it as an instant heal on yourself, or you could use it as like an AoE heal on your target and yourself when you're channeling Soothing Mist. It's really nice to have, and I love it. And then they gave us some Brewmaster stuff. Bounce back is something I've been using in, in arena. I don't know if you use it in PvP or PvE, but I, bounce back is pretty solid wall. I don't know. I love brewmasters though. They, they're great. And then finally, one of my favorite talents that they gave is they gave us vivacious vivification. So that makes vivify instant every 10 seconds. So really solid talent really helps kind of smooth out the rotation in pvp you could use it right when you leave crowd control it gives you some extra healing pve it just helps you continue fist weaving that way you don't have to break like any stacks that you have or any damage you're doing that you have built up you just use instant vivify now as far as the misweaver talents go I, I don't really have a lot of complaints. I don't have many. Um, I love that you could choose between a three minute celestial or one minute celestial. You know, you could have one powerful cooldown every three minutes, or you could have a pretty solid cooldown every minute, which is great. Um, Secret Infusion, I was at, I would, let me tell you, I was the biggest advocate for Secret Infusion coming back. And I love it. They, they, I love it. They buffed it too. It was originally 5% each talent. It's now 8%. So now it's a total of 16% stats based on what, sp what spell you use after you use Thunder Focus T. Love it. I Secret Fusion, absolutely my favorite talent in the whole game. I'm here for it. Um, outside of that, you know, they gave us our bonus brew. That's a PvP change. Sorry, PV ears. And then they gave us Night Fae, which was a curveball to me. It was a curveball. Uh, I thought they were gonna go. I fully thought they were gonna go Venthyr or Kyrian. I, I, you know, they we, we can't have it all. But I think they they gave us Night Fae, which surprisingly was really good. Um, overall, though, the talents I am happy with. They are. Looking pretty solid. A lot of options. Usually, both on both sides, the monk and the misweaver points. You have about, you, you have a cookie cutter build, and they got five or six flexible points. But overall, I am happy with the talents. Quick plug here: I am doing a giveaway on my Twitter. It is in the description below. And if you want a chance at, I think it's a heroic edition of Dragonflight. Just follow the instructions in the tweet, and you can you you will be entered. I don't do these very often. It's just easiest on Twitter for me to do. It's a nightmare on YouTube. So. Please, if you want to, feel free to go check that out. For PvP, Mistweaver actually feels pretty solid. The only testing, of course, that we've been able to do is solo shuffle. There are no rated twos or threes or RBGs on beta. But overall, Mistweaver feels pretty good. We have, I don't even know where to start. We have so many defensives. We have Fort Brew. We have Diffuse Magic. We have Dampen Harm, Healing Elixirs, and we also have Double Port, which is Escape from Reality. We just have all those defensive. It's going to be extremely hard to kill us. Now, that's not to say we still do take a lot of damage. If you don't have port available, you are you can die, absolutely. Um, you are not immortal because, again, the only thing you can use while stunned is a sk is is port. And if you don't have that, you're, you're pretty much, you have to pre-use the cooldown before team swapped you. But we do have a lot of defensives, which is really nice to have because in previous expansions, we just never did. Um, and on top of that, we don't have to really... Choose, pick and choose what legendaries we want to use in Shadowlands. 
you had to choose between Escape from Reality, Cloud of Focus, Tier of Mourning, and with these new talent trees, you get all three. You just get all three. So you get your double port, which is Escape from Reality. You get Cloud of Focus, which was our main legendary in Shadowlands, and we just get that now. They did nerf it slightly, but it's still pretty good. And then we also get Tier of Mourning, which we didn't really use in PvP because Cloud of Focus is so good. But we also get Tier of Mourning, which makes it so it buffs your Vivifying Vault Mist on a target with Renewing Mist. And that's so good because it our fourth set on beta buffs our Vivify twice. So again, Vivify is basically going to be our main heal as long, uh, along with our mastery. And yeah, I mean, I don't even know what else to say about Mistweaver. I've done a lot of arena games. I've done close to about 800 beta games across like seven different Mistweavers testing different races. They feel solid. Healing output is good. The only downside to Mistweaver in PvP as always, is uh, we don't have damage ever. Uh, you will never, and I've gotten this question a lot, and you will just never fist weave in PvP. I really don't think you will. Maybe it's going to be different in, you know, rated twos and threes, but overall, I just, I don't see fist weaving being viable. It's not a problem of damage, actually. We have higher health pools now, <clears throat> so I thought the healing wasn't going to be there, but the damage is there. The healing is pretty decent. The problem is ancient teachings of ancient teachings the legendary <coughs> or the talent that was a legendary it doesn't it's not a smart heal so it heals pets that are dying it heals targets that are at 99 percent instead of the person at one percent so it's just not a smart heal which is really annoying and frustrating and then also you have to push in to do damage it's really unfortunate that we have to do that um when we push in or you know from experience when i pushed in to do damage uh, I was either CC'd forever, you know, you definitely don't want to do it versus like mage locks, but if you do it versus a melee cleave, they're just going to swap to you. And then the biggest issue is if teams try to kill you, you pour away, right? And you're safe, but you can't do damage from range. You know, it's all melee damage. So you then have to spend time rolling into the fight while your team is still dying and then start doing damage. And it takes a lot of globals to do damage you know if you're trying to build up your blackout kicks and your tiger palming tiger palming that doesn't do a, a, a lot enough damage to keep your team alive then you blackout kicks maybe get a reset on your rising sun kick something like that we need some kind of proc or something some kind of immunity as well where you know while chiji's active or something maybe we can't be i don't know stunned <laughs> you know legion style where you're the crane back but yeah i mean that's the only downside to miss even pvp that i found you still do need to cast a lot as well soothing mist again is i'm genuinely surprised that they did not make it so or add a talent where soothing mist is usable while moving i i could i cannot believe it it is the one thing that miss it, it just doesn't make sense because mist weavers are still quite frankly the most mobile healers in the game i'm a little bit disappointed about that and yeah of course we do have a lack of damage it is kind of made up though because we do have kickback which is really nice spearhead strike is great um even in matchups where i didn't think i was going to use it there's always situations where maybe a mage blinks on top of you tries to get a poly boom kick it druid tries to you know bash clone you and maybe they mess up their their timing and you can kick the clone it's really nice tool to have it's just a nice tool it gives you options and overall i am i am pleasantly surprised with how good mistweaver is in pvp if you got through shadowlands pvp as mistweaver you are going to love dragonflight mistweaver because Everything that we had in, in Shadowlands that we had to choose, we now have baseline, and it feels great. The play style is the same. The healing is bigger, for sure, and we, we just have more tools. So if you're on the fence about playing Mistweaver in PvP, and you played it low in Shadowlands and you liked it, you're going to absolutely love Dragonflight Mistweaver. As excited as I am to PvP in Dragonflight, I am even more excited to PvE. I know a lot of people don't know this, but I do like to raid and i love to mythic plus i love it so much and i was really surprised when they announced the talent trees because I'm, I'm not gonna lie the the night fey build in in shadowlands was a bit of a meme i remember i made a channel point on my twitch because it was like that funny um i thought they were gonna go with venthyr i thought they were gonna give us venthyr talent store of shadows uh maybe the theodore's tea party where it gives people versatility and then give us you know fall in order but they gave us Night Fae, and at first, I was really unimpressed with the damage it did, how it was used. And then once you start to dig into the talents, it it, it makes it makes Mistweaver feel so good. So in Shadowlands, it, you use your NGT Jinx Legendary to Fist Weave, and you use Essence Font to activate it. In Dragonflight, 
its es essence font or failing stomp. So failing stomp is an activator for NGT Jinx, which is what makes your Tiger Palm, Black Oak Kick, Rising Sun Kick heal when you do damage, which is amazing. I love that change so much. And then on top of the failing stomp, you aren't just like siloed into just doing single target damage. They just recently buffed Awakened Failing, which makes it so when you use your abilities in your failing stomp animation, your Tiger Palms hit people twice and your Spinning Crane Kick heals three nearby allies for 50% of the damage done. They just made that buff. I actually really like that for Mythic Plus. I don't know how that impacts. I don't know if that's going to impact raiding that much. I didn't do any raids on beta, unfortunately. But in Mythic Plus or five-man groups, that seems really good because you're doing more healing to less people, but you have instant vivify as well. Now, so you kind of weave that into your rotation, and it just feels like kind of smooth. It's really nice. I always felt like in in Shadowlands when there was like really high spikes of AOE damage, it was kind of hard to keep up because you, if you didn't have your damage built up and you didn't have the timing right, you kind of just overhealed, which is really annoying. But I think overall, like it feels good. The instant vivify is really nice, and you have the buffs to your your uh, failing stomp which is great you have talents like you know you have your essence font you have the teachers monastery uh, spirit of the crane is an optional talent as well where it gives you mana based on when you do your additional blackout kicks which is really nice to have because you have to choose between that and manatee before and now you don't have to which is great and then you also get um rising mist so in addition to rising mist you also get focused thunder because before in in the talents trees in in shadowlands you had to choose between focus thunder or your rising mist but now you get both so now you get two charges two charges of thunder focus t where you're probably going to use your rising sun kicks on which feels great because before you only, you only use one and then you also get rising mist to ascend your hots one thing i really 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 like is how many talents you could use to also help with your aoe healing um with your renewing mist because your renewing mist is your your bread and butter heal right that's kind of what you're extending you're, you're trying to extend that you're trying to extend your uh, essence font and then you're trying to extend your velvet mist on your tanks and you have like what three different talents you have your first of all you have rapid diffusion which makes it so your rising sun kick and envelopus apply renewing mist so if you're you know if you're craning and you throw out an envelop mist you get a free renewing mist on somebody which is great to have because it, Mist Reavers have so many globals. I, it's, in PvP, they have a lot of globals. In PvE, I felt like they have way more just to start healing. And j that helps, which is freeing up a global, which is always nice to have. And then you also have Dancing Mist, which Renewing Mist has a 5% chance to immediately spread to an additional target when it's initially cast when shot into a new target. So even though this might not be... This is probably more for raids. It's still nice. Like, it's still great to have. Um, I think it actually up uh, the two... Uh, talents go into it, uh, increase it by 10%. So that's really nice to have. And then you have another one called Misty Peaks, where Renewing Mist Heal Time has a chance to proc about Mist for two seconds. So, and that it can be extended through Rising Mist. So if you're just doing your rotation with Renewing Mists and your, and your Enveloping Mist and your Essence Fonts and you're extending those hots with your Rising Mist, you're going to do so much AoE damage. It's, it's, it feels really good. Um, and I'm a huge fan of. Of the playstyle, the playstyle isn't really going to change as far as Mythic Plus. Um, I think mostly you're just going to be fist weaving. But if you don't like the fist weave, or if you're not in the mood to fist weave, sometimes I'm not in the mood to fist weave. You can opt to just go with the casting talents because they basically broke up the talents into PV, um, fist weaving and non-fist weaving. So just choose the caster ones, and it feels just as good. Like you could you could fist weave, you could channel your heals. It both feels really good. Um, another great option that they gave is one minute on your celestials, or you got you can have a really strong three minute cooldown for your Yulon or Chigi, or you can talent into the gift of the celestials, which reduces the cooldown by two minutes. So it's a one minute cooldown, but it, the duration is reduced by twelve seconds, which I think is fine. I'm actually a huge fan of that. I feel like that's always been a kind of a struggle for Mistweaver. Is we basically we, how many cool, we have like two cooldowns and they're like three minutes long. So it's always been kind of rough but i like having that option speaking of cooldowns the downside that i found to miss weaver in pve is how it, it, how bad revival is yeah um it feels like we once again don't really have a huge raid wide cooldown i i thought i i really thought they were going to give us the revival and then like have a stagger built into it it was a really cool idea i saw somewhere um but they just gave that to revokers so um that's fantastic uh so again revival it doesn't really heal as much i wouldn't really bank on revival being a huge raid wide cooldown i think you're still just gonna rely on all of your healing output to kind of get you invited to raids i don't think it's that big a deal 
I think Miss Weaver can work. We have a lot. We have a lot of healing output, and with how often you can have renewing mist jump from target to target, and if you keep extending it, it's really nice. One thing I don't want to forget when I'm talking about their PVE is the addition to Zen Pulse. They gave us a new damage spell where you it's an instant spell and you press on ally and it deals damage and hits all enemies that it's around within. I think it's like eight yards around the target. And then the target that you cast it on gets healed for each person that it hit. So for all the damage you dealt, really good instant heal. You could spec into it to make it so you could use it while channeling Soothing Mist. I think that's more of like a PvP thing because you're not really channeling Soothing Mist in PvE. Um, but you can, there's another talent that you can go into called uh, Echoing Reverberation where Zen Pulse gets triggered a second time for 80% um, 80, 80 of the damage it dealt. And it'll only do that if the target has Renewing Mist and Belt Mist, which is perfect if you, you know, if you're, tank healing you could put renewing mist and belt mist extend it with your tier of morning use your zen pulse it does a ton of damage every damage overall i think mistweaver pve again i think we're middle tier we're not but we're solid middle tier i don't think we're as good as evokers or wrestle druids uh, but you know i think mistweaver has a pretty high skill cap so it's kind of hard to kind of pick up but i think overall mistweaver feels good in pve as well i've watched a lot of streams i've watched a lot of videos we feel good we have a lot of defensives you know we have the diffuse magic dampen harm fortifying brew healing elixirs we have something for every situation which is nice you can kind of change your talents based on what dungeon you're doing which is great and the only downside i can think of is we have really good aoe damage our single target damage really kind of feels like it lacks but overall the play style is going to be the same so I would, you know, play Mist Weaver if you're like Fist Weaving. If you don't want to Fist Weave and you're just like, you know, casting, you can do that too. Both are great. We still have the Mystic Touch uh, passive. As long as Windwalkers aren't <laughs> good, uh, they're probably going to be insane. Uh, you know, they they need you for the Mystic Touch. You also need a full physical group to do it. But, you know, that's a good way to get into a group if you see Warriors and Rogues. Overall, whether you play PvP or PvE on a Mist Weaver, I think we are middle of the road for both, but we're really solid. You know, we're not the best in either content, but we're not the worst. And we, the, the most important thing when, it, for me personally, when it comes to playing a class is does it feel good to play? Am I enjoying myself when I'm playing the spec? And when I play Mist Weaver, and now I've tested every heal, every healer, and there's just no spec that I find as fun as Mist Weaver. Between the mobility that you have, you have your transcendence, you have your rolls, you have Ring of Peace, which is just the most fun spell in the game. And between your healing output, I love healing output. When I'm looking at a healer, I'm looking for the mobility that they have and the healing output they can do. Those are the two biggest things. And if they can do damage, you know, that'd be great. And, you know, we're, you know, PvP, we're a little lacking on it, but that's okay. Um, can we do that? And Miss Weaver does it all. Man, I love Miss Weaver so much. The playstyle is fun to me. The damage is great in PvE. The mobility is amazing. The, the buttons are great. The animations are cool. Everything about Miss Weaver I love. I hope this video was helpful for anyone that might be on the fence playing Miss Weaver. Uh, these are my thoughts. I have played quite a bit of Miss Weaver on beta. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Please let me know any comments you have if you're enjoying Miss Weaver on beta or if you're not, or if you know, pre patch doesn't matter. If you're planning on playing Miss Weaver or if you're going to re roll, uh, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have as well. And that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.